Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. So today's video was kind of exciting for me. I did a 25 day TikTok experiment to see what helps people grow on TikTok. So if that interests you, just keep watching and let's just go right into this video. So all my notes are on the phone. I took the time to take averages and actual numbers and everything. So we're going to go through that. And then we're going to go through some tips and then some um, quick notes as well. So if I'm looking down at my phone a lot, I apologize, but I literally have so many notes. I don't want to miss anything. So let's just get started. And quickly, I just want to say I'm not going to make you Charlie D'Amelio. I'm sorry. She's a queen. I don't think anybody can keep up to her. <laughs> but I can help you gain a couple of followers. So you're definitely not going to be Charlie. But, but we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> um, so some quick notes we'll start out with. Um, I posted every six hours. I always do regardless, but throughout this experiment, I also posted every six hours ish. Obviously if I'm sleeping, I'm not sending a timer to post a TikTok, but, um, yeah, every six hours ish, so roughly three videos a day. I also didn't include how many comments I got in here because only one video actually got a significant amount of comments. But I do include likes and views, so just make sure you watch the whole video. Um, so to explain it a little bit, I did five sets of five. So five days doing five different experiments. It's hashtags. I just five days using five sets of five days. Each set I used a different hashtag amount. You'll understand what I mean. Um, so totally took me 25 days and I'm going to share the process and what I found. So let's get into the logistics, I guess. Um, so I'm going to, cause I, I suck at talking, you know that. So I'm going to try to read this properly. The first five days I did with the trending hashtags and other hashtags using the, um, full amount of characters you were given. So I think we get 150 characters, maybe more. Uh, I can't remember. But I used as many characters as I could using trending hashtags and other hashtags. The next five days, I used only five hashtags using FYP and For You as two of them. And then, was the next five days using? Only using trending hashtags, um, only using trending hashtags, I can't speak, only using trending hashtags if they were relevant to the video. The other three hashtags, if none of the trending ones were relevant, I just made them up, like acting, POV, whatever it was. Um, then the next five days, so the third set, I did five hashtags, still using FYP and For You, and then using the trending hashtags, if they, regardless of if it was relevant or not, and then if there was, say, two trending hashtags, I still used one other hashtag. The fourth set, I did um, nothing but the FYP hashtag. And the fifth set, I did no hashtags at all. Okay, so now we're going to get into all the numbers and um, averages, everything like that. So bear with me. I am going to be looking at my phone because there's no way I'm memorizing all these numbers. But let's start with the first five days, which was using all the characters I was allowed with hashtags so I started with 326 followers and after the first five days I had 329 so only three more followers I had posted 14 videos and got a total of 162 likes and 5427 views for an average of 12 likes and 388 views per video so there wasn't a lot of growth during this first set but um, moving on to the next set was five days, five hashtags using trending hashtags only if they were relevant. I'm sorry I'm talking fast. I have a lot of information here that I don't want to make like a half hour long video. Um, but I started this second set with 329 followers and ended up with 355. So a growth of 26 followers in five days. I posted 15 videos. Um, total like of 2565, so 2565 likes, 
for an average of 171 per post and I had 25,233 views for an average of 1,682 per video. I also think it's important to add during this um, set or this round, whatever you want to call them, I had one video semi blow up which obviously increased those averages. Um, the next set was five hashtags using all trending hashtags regardless if it was relevant. Started with the 355, ended with 358 followers, so again, it wasn't a great round, only three follower game. Um, I posted 13 total videos for 221 likes, 5,012 views, um, making an average of 17 likes and 386 views per video. <sighs> okay, the fourth round was only using the FYP hashtag. I started with 358 followers and ended with 376 followers so it was a good growth of 18 followers in five days. I posted 14 videos and I got a total of 265 likes for an average of 19 per video and 3,524 the average being views. I'm confusing myself. Views and the average being 252. Also important to note during this period was I got shadow banned. I actually recently got shadow banned yesterday as well. But I got shadow banned during this FYP only hashtag. What am I even saying? I got shadow banned during the fourth set of this experiment because I spoke out about the Black Lives Matter movement. I posted two videos in regards to the Black Lives Matter movement and I did get shadow banned. So I don't know how much that affected my videos and I don't know how much, how long that affected me. So just putting that out there to keep that in mind as well. And last, lastly, lastly, no hashtags. I posted 13 videos and ended with 380 followers. So I got four followers in the five days. 117 likes for an average of nine and 2,611 views. Average is 201 per video. Clearly you need to use hashtags um, Because that is terrible growth for five days um, That being said like I mentioned, I don't know how long I was shadow banned and I don't know how much that affected me um, Looking at the numbers mentioned I had the most growth during the five hashtags only using trending hashtags if they were relevant as well as the FYP only um, this is actually how I hashtag normally is the five hashtags. So what I do is say I'm posting an acting video. Um, say it's a Grey's Anatomy acting video I post. I will put acting, FYP, Grey's Anatomy, for you, and then like say it's Meredith's voice. I'll put Meredith Grey. That's how I typically hashtag. Um, so it's kind of cool to see that the way I hashtag is a way that I found works to grow. That being said, during that period is when the video semi blew up. It had 20,000 views and 2,000 likes, so that definitely brought those averages up as well as it brought a lot of followers. The next highest, like I mentioned, was the just using the FYP hashtag, which is kind of nice if you don't want to like think about like the proper hashtags to use. Like if you can't think, if you're not good at coming up with hashtags that are relevant, just FYP is a semi good way to grow. Um, so now my tips, again, I'm probably just going to look at my phone because I don't want to get them mixed up and wrong. There's quite a few of them, so I don't know, take notes if you want. Um, they are in no particular order. Tip number one is use hashtags, either the five hashtags or just FYP. I think I made it obvious that you need hashtags because the week I had no hashtags was terrible for me. Um, tip two, don't use trending hashtags unless they are relevant. I that number one, this just annoys me when I see this, and number two, I think I proved that they don't, it doesn't work. So don't don't put trending hashtags unless they're relevant to what you're posting. Um, make original content, whether you post videos of you talking like your actual voice, or you post um, your own POVs that like come up with your own POVs. Just make some original content. Respond to comments. This shows TikTok that you have a high engagement level and it'll boost your video on the For You page more. So do trends. Most of my videos that get the most attention are trends or originals. So definitely keep up with the trends. Good lighting, good angles, and an aesthetically pleasing background are your best friend when you're filming. That's kind of with everything. Like 
with YouTube, with TikTok, whatever you're filming, videos, definitely those three are good tips. I personally also found that my videos that I film outside do better than the videos, typically do better than the videos I film inside. So I don't know how that works, but outside, if you have an aesthetically pleasing background, give that a chance. But honestly, just have fun with it. This app was made for fun, not for fame. People do get fame off of it, but it's made for fun. So just have fun with it because people can realize when you're just there for your fame. Honestly, I see it all the time on my For You page when people just are just there for followers. Just make videos for the fun of it. Don't do videos that are like, come back for part two tomorrow. This used to be very, very popular, but now followers and people on TikTok, they see right through it and they will follow you for one day. And then once they see that part two, they will unfollow. I'm sorry, but I do that all the time just to see the end result. But I unfollow immediately. <laughs> like... People see right through it, so just don't do them. If you are making an original video, say, I don't know, like a DIY, you're tie-dyeing a t-shirt and you want to make a TikTok video, use a trending sound behind it because trending sounds often appear on the For You page more. So that's another tip. I don't do this tip, but you could um, cross-promote on your Instagram. So... Obviously, most people have Instagrams if they have TikTok, so just advertise yourself. Put your TikTok on your story a few days a week, whatever it is. I don't do it. I only talk about my TikTok on YouTube, but if I did post it on Instagram, I would probably get a couple more followers because I have close to 700 on Instagram and close to 400 on TikTok. So I would probably get more followers if I did that, but I'm sure... Anyone would be able to get more followers if they put it on Instagram. Post often is my next tip. So like I mentioned, I post roughly every six hours, which turns out to be three videos a week. So ever since I started doing that, I used to post when I first got TikTok back in December. It was Christmas break. So like end of December, I would only post like once or twice a week. Ever since I started posting more, like I post three times a day, you grow significantly more. So obviously stay active and be consistent with your posting. Make duets with your favorite popular creators. My most popular video is a duet with someone who wasn't overly that popular, I don't think. I think it was like a meme account. I don't know my most popular video is a duet so definitely give that a shot most of my most popular videos are duets so definitely do what your favorite creators okay so now two things that I've read that help but I don't do is stick to one category is the first one um, stick to one category like if you want to be known for POVs do a lot of POVs if you can act act if you sing sing etc I post literally everything I dance I act, I lip sync, I do whatever I want. I, I don't have one content, but if you want, I, I do see how that helps you grow. Like Charlie D'Amelio is known for dancing, Addison Rae is known for dancing, Sabrina, I don't even know, I'm not even going to attempt to say her last name, but she's known for POVs. So like stick to one category, I don't, but if you do really want to grow, that's probably a good tip. And then the next tip is go live. I don't have a thousand followers on TikTok, so I can't. But I do see how it would help because it shows TikTok that you're engaging with your audience and it'll help promote you and you're talking to those who support you. And yeah, I can see definitely if I ever do get a thousand followers, I will probably go live as well. Things to keep in mind is a lot of your followers will come from the same video. Like I mentioned, my most popular video is a duet and... I would say 90% of my followers came from that video because it has 300 plus thousand views. So it's over a quarter. It's, I would say at this point it's probably right under half a million views. And I got majority of my followers from that video. The next one is don't make videos to blow up or for fame. Do it for fun. Like I mentioned earlier, people will see through you if you're just there for fame. For me personally, I just really enjoy TikTok and I thought it would be cool to kind of figure out the algorithm and how um, TikTok promotes videos and stuff like that with hashtags and stuff. So that's why I did this experiment. I just love TikTok. It's really fun. It's really 
I don't know. It's just something to do and it's fun. So don't do it for fame. Do it for fun. That's what it was made for. You have to just keep reminding yourself it's not made for fame. Like YouTube wasn't made to make people famous. TikTok, Instagram, none of these were made to make people famous. They were made for fun. So just keep that in mind when you're making your videos and make sure your intentions are right. If you're there to blow up, people will realize it sooner or later. So be a good, genuine human being. And that is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will have my TikTok linked down below in the description as always. But I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday like I just said. And I hope you subscribe so you never miss a video. I'm forgetting my outro here. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.